All right, so here we got a, a 1970 Roadrunner that came in for some basic maintenance and restoration work. We got to get the AC working. Uh, I guess it hasn't in a long time. His front suspension alignment's way out, so we're gonna do some rebuild and aligning on that. Um, other than that, this is a really solid car, and it shouldn't take too much to get back up and on the road how it's supposed to be. So. What's the history on the car? Uh, this car belongs to Pauly Shore, and uh, he was looking for someone to do some classic restoration work on it, so we convinced him to bring it in here since we're the biggest shop in town. Uh, process from here is to first diagnose why the AC doesn't work because it looks like the system's pretty complete. Um, I think that our main problem is underneath the dash on the controls since they don't seem to do anything as of now. Um, and then once we get the system responding to the controls, I can go in and diagnose whether or not that the system has a charge and creates compression. That's the old school air conditioning? Yeah, this is all factory air conditioning, factory everything so far on this car. It's actually... Um, not necessarily harder, but harder to find parts for. So, it'll be fun. I'm hoping that this compressor works properly because I really don't want to have to find a rebuilt one. Uh, so far, we're you know a few hours into AC diagnostic. Um, that shouldn't be too bad unless we find some real problems under the dash. Uh, front end alignment's easy. This throttle cable's broken, that's easy. But it starts up and runs, it just, isn't drivable until I do the throttle cable. Did he have a tow here? Or... Yeah, it came out on a tow truck. Are you guys doing yeah, or... um, He wants an estimate because it's got some paint damages on this fender and the rear quarter on that side. So he just wants some estimates. I mean, the paint is actually in pretty good shape everywhere else. So, well, it shouldn't need a whole paint job, just some touch up. Do you think uh, this has been returned before? Uh, it's definitely had a paint job before. You can see where the overspray is. Um, underneath the car, so it's an original green car, but I think it's been resprayed. Um, and the engine is a little too clean to be completely factory. It's probably been gone through at least once. And what kind of motor is that? This is a 383 uh, Mopar. Pretty, pretty common V8 for the generation. Not the biggest off one they offered, but it's a good motor.